Good morning, friend. Today, we drive to Paris. Hello, friend. My name is Scott. I am your host. Welcome to my channel. This is Go Small, Live Large. We are a channel dedicated to learning and then sharing those learnings of places, people, van life as I work full time and live full time for my 2019 Winnebago Travato GL over lithium. And the Travato is a class B RV camper van, if you will. And we're all about helping you understand the van life and RV lifestyle whether you are no time part-time or full-time I've been full-time now since February 2019 and part-time prior to that since October 2018 this is a special video there was so much information from my five days of visiting Paris Warsaw Holland Lafayette Indiana and uh, Elkhart, Indiana, RV capital of the world, but I decided to break this up into four episodes. And you'll wanna watch each episode, and I'm gonna try and roll them out really quickly, because there was so much really good information in here. I did it in kind of a vlog style, which I no normally don't do, and you're gonna learn a tremendous amount um, from each of these uh, videos and these stops we make. Now, the the Holland stop was important because we met with Volta, manufacturers of the Pure 3 lithium system that my rig has. Got an exciting, exciting announcement uh, that's exclusive to Go Small, Live Large. Um, so watch that video coming up very, very shortly. And we visit Embassy RV in Elkhart. If you're not familiar with Embassy RV, when you're done with this video, watching this video, go to your browser and type in embassyrv.com. I met with Terry and his team and they are taking the Class B RV segment to an entirely different level um, based on the Ford Transit and, and the Ram Promaster chassis, largely. And they are doing some superiorly, uh, is that a word? <laughs> some, some, some serious innovative work in the Class B space. And um, uh, So go to embassyrv.com, check out their stuff. We've got some really cool things coming up about that. Um, and what you'll be seeing and learning from these, these, these four episodes is van life and my daily routine in doing van life uh, and digital nomad work life. Uh, we go deep into stealth urban camping. I show you how to harvest water uh, from a safe source. I uh, show you how to reuse RV storage containers that fit the space perfectly. I um, show you how I set up my day as a digital nomad show you how to choose a residential parking spot and how to choose a good spot at like a Walmart. Um, I review my setup for the cellular and Wi-Fi uh, uh, setup to pull internet source down and use that. We're gonna visit uh, Warsaw Cut Glass, the last remaining cut glass factory in the United States. Um, you're gonna see a glass being cut in real time. Absolutely amazing. We visit a brew pub. And I'm going to show you how I set up what I call mood lighting, which is interior, dimly lit uh, interior lighting for my Class B to help with stealth camping and what it looks like from the outside. Again, a tremendous amount of information. I ask you to hang in there with me for each of these four episodes. Uh, I promise you, you're gonna get something out of it. Uh, if not, well, let me know. I need to do this differently. Um, so with that, thank you for, for viewing. Let's get back to waking up on our way to Paris. The birds are up, but not much else. It's time for us to get up. Let's go. First thing we do is make the bed. How about some teeth brushing? And while we brush some teeth, let's make some coffee. Turn on the inverter to make the said coffee. Mm. 
microwave beep, so you know that's on. Nice. Coffee. 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 Brush some teeth, shall we? Nice and chest. Toothpaste. Toothbrush. Flossing over. So to finalize the uh, getting cleaned up, I always like to wipe off the sink. A little bit more. That's early. Let's get a shirt on, and we're out of here. lid on the cup so it uh, don't spill that's always a good idea um, breakfast initially is going to consist of el banano and the protein bar put those up front all right first stop on the way to paris is danville danville is where there is a planet fitness located which is where we will stop and shower so that is about uh, 90 minutes away which is perfect so we are here. Danville is right there. So 90 minutes away. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Love that. Welcome to van life. It's pretty cool. Let's go. So again, this is a great thing about Planet Fitness. You roll into a town. This is a town of 33,000 people, Danville. You get a little tan. Tanning, tanning, tanning. Welcome to Paris, Paris, Illinois. Did you ever know there was such a town? Established 1823, what's been keeping you so long from Paris? Why haven't you visited Paris up to this point? Well, the good news is we're gonna spend the day in Paris, Illinois, as we live out van life on the road this week, visiting Paris, Warsaw, and Holland. Let's keep moving all right so just rolled into Paris Illinois pretty big difference than Paris France but nonetheless pretty cool look at this old building here uh, so here's Lily um, so what I'd like to do when I roll into a new town is find a one of two things find a parking spot in the shade uh, we've talked about the advantage of parking in the shade it reduces the internal temperature by at least Five to ten degrees if not more so I'm always looking for a, uh, a free parking spot uh, the sign here on the pole says uh, two hours so that's no problem um, I had a conference call and just ended so I'm actually going to take a buzz around uh, the downtown area here watch it here so you guys can see this so this is I'm assuming the courthouse here well, which is extremely cool but you can see there's a whole commercial area right around uh, the courthouse so what I'm going to do is just drive around, get a little sense of the area, and what I'm hoping to find is a kind of groovy coffee shop that I can uh, get some coffee and some internet and uh, plunk down for a couple hours. Uh, and that would be followed by uh, probably a brew pub to see later this afternoon. Uh, in either place, what I'm looking to do is talk with some locals about Paris, Illinois, uh, some things to do, see, taste, eat um, while I'm here for the day, and uh, then we roll out of here. So let's, uh, let's go drive around.
definitely a Chamber of Commerce right there. Let's turn the corner to Park. There's a spot right here. That's a good one. Let's take that. They even have their own newspaper here. Very cool. Chamber of Commerce. Lily, courthouse, and this is Main Street Cafe. Again, this is kind of the best practice to find a local place and start talking about uh, things to do and see. The gal at the Chamber of Commerce recommended that I come here, so. Man, did I get uh, Princess parking or what? Nice. Let's go inside. All right, so that was Landon and his mom making a mean breakfast. Eggs and ham, can't beat that, got a nice coffee. Unfortunately, no Wi-Fi, not really a place you can sit, but uh, if you're coming to Paris, you gotta stop at Main Street Cafe. They're pretty cool, pretty cool folks. They're all curious about Lily, love that. All right, let's go. So what I normally like to do is when I roll into a place um, is find a park to work at. Preferably in the shade. It's currently 87 degrees here in Paris and uh, That's pretty damned hot. So what I uh, Unfortunately went to two different parks none of them suitable uh, in the sense that there was parking not a parking lot and not a tree very bizarre uh, so Paris need to up your game on the park. So I found a um, Shady spot here in a residential neighborhood um, The neighbor across the street was giving me some weird looks, um, but I'm just here for a couple hours and I um, it worked okay, but uh, I'm headed to um, a local suggested a brew pub to uh, get into some air conditioning because it's about 82 degrees inside the rig. I'm not running AC because I don't know exactly what I'm doing tonight. Uh, part of van life, so I'm just conserving resources until I get to my uh, location. So a little bit more work to do, um, and then I'm heading out of Paris up to Warsaw. So I've just packed up everything in the van. Well, sometimes, as the case with van life, we have some bad news and good news. The good news is we did find Lot Brewing, which was recommended by Landon from the uh, Breakfast Cafe this morning. Uh, the bad news is they're closed. Um, and I saw a tourist activity sign that says they're actually open Monday or Thursday through Sunday. Uh, they look like they're kind of under construction. Let's see if we can peek in. Looks like a pretty cool place, super bummed out. Um, but if you happen to be in Paris, Thursday through Sunday, they should be open. Today they're not. Here they got a roll-up garage door. Oh, there's Lily. Hello, Lily. So, it looks like a cool place. Bummed we can't share that with you. Let's uh, run across the street, check out the... Uh, Courthouse, I think that would be worthy. Uh, stone probably has, actually it looks like stone all the way to the top, which is really amazing. Can you see the uh, Lady of Justice? Hopefully it's coming through. Um, building says 1891, pretty significant age. Let's, uh, let's go check it out. The grounds are kind of cool. Paris, ladies and gentlemen. Paris. Well, upon entering, we see that it is a very much a functional courthouse. Some really great old clocks, old architectural elements. But unfortunately, the rotunda has been replaced with an elevator shaft. That's interesting. Side. Can get it. Some stained glass. Nice little paintings. Very much a functional courthouse. Wow, look at the old uh, What's that? You know what that is? Connect the fire. That's the, where the fire hose goes, boys and girls. Cool. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, Paris, Illinois. Check. Done. Now head to Warsaw. Warsaw. Been to Warsaw? Warsaw is pretty awesome. Let's go to Warsaw. So 
So hope you enjoyed day one of a five day vlog of van life, digital nomad, full time uh, in Paris, day one. Next video, we go to Warsaw. Really some exciting stuff in Warsaw. If you got something out of this, please give it a thumb up. Really appreciate that comment. Uh, have you ever heard of Paris, Illinois? Have you been to Paris, France? And as always, I just really appreciate you, uh, each and every one of you being out there uh, watching and, and uh, met a number of viewers in the last week. And it just uh, warms my heart that I am actually having a bit of an impact um, to help people do things that they've only really thought about doing. Because uh, my motto is, teach everything you know. I know you can't see that. But do what you love and bad decisions make the best stories. Fortunately, I haven't had any bad decisions yet. But um, see you in the next video. Cheers.